My name is Brittany Moulton. I am the field marketing specialist for Northwest Florida. I handle all of my agents up here in Northwest Florida, but I also help with RCC and commercial agents in the state of Florida. Today, I'm going to show you how to access your CRM database via Moxie and how you can actually add people into your CRM. So this is going to be a very quick tutorial of how to get to your CRM through Moxie and also how you can add someone into your CRM. So without further ado, let me go ahead and share my screen. So everything that we do always starts on my CB desk. You should have access to my CB desk. How you get there is by typing in mycbdesk.com using your login credentials that the company gave you, usually your uh, company uh, email address as well as the password that you have picked. And if you have not logged into my CB desk, get with your manager or your office admin to help you get on there. When you get onto my CB desk, there is a bunch of tiles. These are what are, we call them on my CB desk are these little tiles. They each do different things and we're not going to be focusing on all of these today. We're really going to focus on the Moxie tile. So if you have um, yours alphabetized like I do, I'm going to go to my M's and click on Moxie works. Moxie Works is something new that we have to the company. We used to always have Moxie. Moxie is used to just be a presentation tool where you would find your listing presentations, buyer presentations, and presentations uh, for CMAs. But we have actually evolved Moxie to now have four programs in one. And when you click on Moxie, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to bring you into your agent profile, and it's going to show you um, pretty much, not very much on this initial screen this is just your profile screen but how you toggle between the different programs is by using this blue bar up at the top we have moxie present so if you've been with cola banker for a while then you probably are familiar with moxie present it's where you find all your listing presentations and can do a cma there's a lot of other presentations that you can use in there um, but we really focus on that listing presentation Engage, which is your CRM. It's a company paid CRM called Engage, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. You have your Moxie website. It is free and ready to go. Even if you haven't done anything to the website, it is a full functioning website ready to go for you. And then you have Impress. Impress is going to be all of the marketing collateral that we have. So if you needed a flyer, an open house flyer, a social media tile, a postcard, you could come into Impress and, and create one of those. Those, um, in just five minutes. So I'm going to click on engage because that is going to be our CRM. Um, it is very vital that you use your CRM. Your CRM is going to help you be successful for the future to help you stay organized and to keep all of your people in one place. So when you drop into your CRM, if you have not already set up your engage, it is going to ask you a couple steps before you're going to see the screen that I have. It's first going to ask you to choose the email that you want to set up. You can either choose your CV Realty email to set up with the Moxie or you can use a Gmail email. So if you come from a different brokerage or you have a ton of contacts in your Gmail email, I would suggest you connect that because all those contacts will transfer into Moxie. If you have a ton of contacts in your Outlook, those are also going to transfer into Moxie. So depending upon where all your contacts live, it might behoove you to connect the email that you have the most contacts in. Once you connect your email, it's going to ask you for a GCI goal. Really what that helps you do is a Moxie is goal oriented and results driven. So they want you to put in a GCI goal because everything that you're doing here in Moxie, especially within your CRM, is to get you to that dollar, to get you to your goal for the year. So it's imperative that you put an attainable goal that you want to reach and you keep track of that goal and it'll help you through Moxie. Then after that, it will ask you if you want to migrate any of your data. So if you have used our CRMs in the past and you're not a new agent and you had maybe in touch or Zap, you can actually migrate your contacts from in touch or Zap. That will be the third question it will ask you when you set up Moxie Engage. And then once you migrate that data, your screen should look like mine. If you've already done the migration, then your screen is going to look just like mine. It's going to drop you into your CRM dashboard. This is where you're going to have your stay and flow and all of your um, activity here in your dashboard. So your activity feed is going to show you any activity that is happening within the CRM. So any emails that you're sending, any emails that you're receiving, anything that you have, any campaigns you have set up are all going to be in your activity feed. 
your stay in flow, what they're going to do is this Moxie Engage system is actually using AI, artificial intelligence, to crawl through your contacts to see who you may need to reach out to. Maybe you haven't touched them in a long time. Maybe they're a hot lead because they're actually searching on your website. They're actively opening the emails that you're sending them. They're going to use this stay in flow to show you people that you should be reaching out to. You're usually going to see about five every single day, and you have the option to reach out to them right here or to dismiss them. You have a to-do list here where you can add your own tasks to stay organized. You'll also have transaction transaction tasks depending upon the transactions that you're running in through your My CV deals. Those do flu, flow into here. You're going to have your calendar that's actually going to flow over from whatever email you connected. So I connected my Outlook calendar, so you're going to see all of my Outlook appointments are flowing over to my calendar. Your sales flow is going to show you what buckets you have people organized in. So if you have someone in the marketing category, prospects, actives, or pending, you're going to see that in the sales flow. If you have a goal, you can see here I put a just a generic 100,000 100, GCI goal. It will show you your percentage to your GCI goal, your average close rate, average commission rate, average size in transactions. So it will help you see where you're at to your goal for the year. You'll see your listings. So any of your actives and pending should be showing up here as well as your solds. So that is your dashboard on Engage. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swing over to show you how to add your people into your CRM and also how to um, upload a list. And then that will be the conclusion of our video. So we're going to actually click on people, my people up here at the top in the dashboard. This is going to bring you to all the people that you have inside of your CRM. So if you haven't uploaded a list or you haven't added anyone to your CRM, you might not be seeing anyone in your My People section. If you do have people in your Outlook or in your Gmail, they should be flowing over here, as well as if you migrated any of your CRM data from InTouch or Zap, they should be showing in here. If you just migrated today, give it about 24 hours. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to catch up. You can add a person right here up at the top by clicking add people. You can add a single uh, contact or you can import contacts. So if I click import contacts, it actually wants a CVS file or CSV file. CSV file is really a Excel file with uh, commas. Um, so it's going to give you an, a template, a template that it likes. So if you do have a ton of contacts and they're kind of jumbled everywhere, my biggest advice to you would be come in here, download this template and put all your contacts in this template. So that way it will talk to the Moxie Engage system perfectly. If you don't have all of your contacts in an Excel spreadsheet and you just want to add them one by one, you can do that too. But your easiest way to do it would just be come in here, grab this example file and put them all on this file and save it to your desktop as like your master contact list. I always recommend agents do that because goodness gracious, if you were to leave or something was to happen, technology was to fail, you have a backup with all your contacts on a master Excel spreadsheet. So I would 100% recommend you do that regardless of the fact. So if you do have an Excel file already ready to go, you just select the file from your computer and upload. If you wanted to add a person one by one, you would just click the single contact. And you would just come in here and you'd fill in first name and all the other information. It does give you the ability to add a lot of information about this person, but I need you to know that you don't need all this information. You really just need the person's name and the person's email. So that will be how you add people to your CRM, how to get to your CRM via the My CV Desk, and what you need to know about how to get people into your CRM. We will be doing some more videos after this, so make sure to keep following my YouTube channel and we can go through how to add people onto different types of searches and campaigns. Thank you so much for listening to my video, and I hope that this has been informative for you. Again, my name is Brittany Moulton, and I am the field marketing specialist for Northwest Florida. Looking forward to talking to each of you soon. Thanks so much.